when you're working with a command line, file paths are the bread and butter of navigation. You're probably already used to thinking of files and directories as nested tree structures. After all, that is what they are, and that's how Windows Explorer or Finder on Mac display them. A file path is just a text-based representation of one file or directory in the hierarchy. All absolute file paths start at the root of the file system, which is just the very top directory in the hierarchy. From there, everything is nested inside a tree of directories, with each directory in the file path separated by a slash. Now, if the path you're looking at points to a file, then the last section of the file path will just be the name of the file. But if you're looking at a path to a directory, then the last section will be the name of the directory. To give an example, in this hierarchy, the path to homework.txt is slash documents, slash school, slash homework.txt. And the path to the work directory is just slash documents, slash work. 